it would be nice if we thought of aging as wine, where it just gets better as it as it uh, accumulates the uh, its years. And I think that again, our the thriving issue. What is it? that increases our thriving, what makes our eyes twinkle, what makes the smile come to our lips, is the sense of our, our discovery, that, that just like a baby is constantly discovering its world, that when we leave out the sense of discovery, we get depressed, we, get, we, we become enclosed. The, the world is, is yet to be known. Our world is yet to be known, and we are yet to be discovered. One of the big issues, uh, I would say, for everyone is that we live in gravity. And you don't need to have osteoporosis to start to shrink because gravity itself will start to do that for you. And when that happens, you become compressed. And when you are compressed, you are not receiving any nourishment. So in a certain way, you could say that aging or the kind of aging that we see is really a form of starvation. That actually would be more accurate, that the body is starving because it's not getting the nutrients that it should be getting. So all of the, um, the approach that we use in our jungle gym domain is by using the equipment the way that we do, we're, we're hanging at various relationships to gravity, it gives us a way of decompressing in a very natural way because you're just letting gravity do it. And so that all of that, all of that in starvation that takes place in the aging process is just gone. Generally, we think that a fit body is one that can give a great deal of effort and a great deal of stress in a given direction. Now we're beginning to realize that the body has capacities to move in all planes and in all directions, that there is no muscle that has a single function. It has a combined function and it must participate with all other muscles in order to have health. So those muscles wrap around bones and take various angles they should be able to constantly move in every capacity that they have to participate. So when you see small children hanging, you wonder why they are so free. Well, they've been free in the amniotic fluid. They've been freer than they've ever been, and now they've come in and have to pattern themselves like our adults. And this is like going back to my freedom, my freedom times, when I can play with gravity in all directions, I can allow this body to move in any plane, and no one says I have to do it this way.